dear students you have already commenced with your board exams and i'm sure you are writing your papers extremely well i wish you all the very best for your other papers and i'm sure you are going to give your best efforts to achieve your goal you know mathematics is one of the subject in which it is always possible to get full marks so i'm going to give you some tips which will help you in the coming board exam to get maximum marks in mathematics first of all you should keep calm and stay focused yes you should keep calm and for that you should have proper 6 to 7 hours sleep before every exam and especially mathematics yes otherwise you will be doing silly mistakes and will not be able to concentrate on your calculations and i'm sure at this stage none of you can afford such silly mistakes also be positive and confident students throughout the year you have been preparing for this exam your teachers help you guide you to get your concepts clear about the subject so instead of asking yourself can i remind yourself i can and yes you can now second important point you should be thorough with your ncert mathematics textbooks both part 1 and part 2 and when i say you should be thorough i mean you should know each and every question given in the exercise and also the sol examples given in the textbook you should solve as many sample papers as you can before your mathematics paper students i'm sure you must have practiced enough by this time so that you are able to complete your paper in 2 hours plus 30 to 40 minutes and yes you should have 15 to 20 minutes at the end to revise your answers and also to attempt those questions which you have left previously now let us discuss the question paper of 12th standard mathematics you know there are 29 questions which are divided in four sections section a having four questions one mark each section b having eight questions two marks each section c four question four marks 11 questions and section d has six questions of six marks each also you are given with 15 minutes reading time dear students please make best use of these 15 minutes to decide your choices yes make wise choices you should decide which questions you know very well and attempt them first and the question which are you are not very sure about you can attempt them later i remind you and please mind it you can uh, you can attend the questions in any order there is no rule that you should go in sequence so the questions that you know very well should be attempted first and those about which you have doubt you may come later also do, during the reading time if you come across any of the question which you don't know please don't panic you just leave the question and focus on those which you know very well attempt them complete your paper and then think about the questions which you have not answered students remember in one mark question no steps no method are required you simply have to write the answer but make sure your answer is totally correct 
because there is only provision for one mark or zero marks. I give you an example, like in 3D, if you are asked to find angle between a line and a plane, remember angle is asked not the cos cosine of the angle or sine of the angle. So your answer will be written in terms of theta, not in terms of cos or sine. Try to attempt all one mark questions together, it will be good for you. Now for two mark questions, there will not be more than four to five steps. And if you think you are taking eight to 10 steps and still you are not getting your answer, immediately stop then and there. Move to the next question. Don't waste your time here on this question. You should be able to finish section A and section B together in not more than 30 to 40 minutes. Then comes section C. Here you have 11 questions, four marks each, and there are a good number of choices. And I'm sure while reading the question paper, you must have decided about the choice question which you are going to attend. Focus on that, try to complete this section in 60 to 70 minutes and not more than that. Whenever you think you are taking more than 8 to 10 minutes for a question, it means you are going to waste your time and not getting the answer. Please stop there and there itself. Then comes 6 mass questions. There are 6 questions in 6 marks and so here not more than one hour you should take to complete the last section. Students, if you stick to this time schedule, you will be able to complete your paper in two hours plus 40 minutes. Still, you are left with 20 minutes, which you should, which you should utilize to revise your answers and also to solve those questions which were left unanswered earlier. Now, some important tips. There are formulas in many of the chapters like inverse trigonometric functions, probability, vector algebra, 3D. You must learn all the formula very well and not only learn, you must practice them. There are questions in the paper like relations and functions where you are asked to prove a function 1, 1 on 2 and also to find its inverse. This question will be of 6 marks, so make sure you write all the steps needed and also, if possible, try to support your answer with good example. This will help you in scoring good marks. Next comes the inverse trigonometric chapter. Here, there are certain identities with some conditions. So while using such identities, you should be very careful. Next comes inverse of a matrix by row or column transformation. For a 3 by 3 matrix, you must follow the particular order that is already discussed to solve the matrix. In probability, there are certain questions which can be solved by shortcut method in two or three steps. But if that question carries four marks or six marks, make sure you write all the steps, otherwise you will lose marks for the steps that you have not written. Integration, that is the most important topic in 12th standard mathematics. And you know, in NCRT textbook, you are given many formula related to integration of some special functions. There are about nine important formula and also integration by partial fraction is also given. Make sure you learn this formula and practice them well because four to five questions, minimum four to five questions in the paper will be from this topic. Not only simple integration, but integration will be there in the topic questions related to application of integration 
and also differential equation. So you should know all the integration formula very well. Next comes linear programming problem. Six marks question will be there from this topic, and there are three steps in this top in this question. First one formulation, second graph, and the third part conclusion. The first part formulation. Before formulation, when you are copying the numbers from the question paper into your answer book, check twice. Make sure you have copied the numbers correctly and then go for formulation. On the graph, make sure you have written the scale. Headings are given along x and y axis. Equation of lines are written. Corner points are highlighted. Feasible region is shaded and naming of the polygon is done. And then you go for the conclusion part, writing the table of points and then calculating optimum value for Z. Another important point here in this topic is, if your feasible region is unbounded, make sure you confirm your answer by drawing Z on the same graph and reaching to the conclusion by justifying the way you already know it. Last but not the least, there are few chapters where you need to draw the figure like application of derivatives in maxima and minima chapter and also in application of integration. Your figure should be neat, tidy, fair and should be labeled properly as in these questions the figure carries one to one and a half marks and again i want to remind your students please don't skip steps you must write every step needed for to solve that question otherwise you are going to lose marks for those steps i hope these tips will help you in last minute preparation for your mathematics paper. I wish you all very best for your exam. May God bless you. Thank you.